This is your guy, S.D. Booker, with the Toast to the Men. Before you listen to this video, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. Hit that like button. Let's go. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the Men. Welcome to A Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's go. Now... The other day, actually yesterday, I was having a discussion with my wife and I was reflecting and then we were started reflecting together how people contact me for information. And it's really been an onslaught the last week or so, uh, old classmates or people I, I don't really have a relationship with that contact me for information. Um, regarding publishing or writing a book or marketing a book, it's different things. And I started thinking, I was like, you know, this is a, a healthy exchange of energy. It's not healthy. And then I started thinking on a broader uh, perspective, just people in general, are in relationships or have bonds or have interactions where there's not an equal exchange of energy. People will want to pull from you information, your wisdom, your knowledge, your talent, your money, but they're not giving anything back. So the exchange is not equal. And when I say equal, it doesn't have to be equal as far as uh, what we perceive as equal quality, but 100% effort from the same internal goodness, from the same uh, good spirit, good heart is given in that regard. And so, if you're giving 100% effort, 100% goodness, and I'm giving 100% goodness, that's an equal exchange. So we're both giving and receiving, and that's how things should flow. That's how energy should flow, currency, uh, as far as money, uh, time. Yeah, currency is just not about money, but currency is <clears throat> your talent, your time, and your money, uh, your gifts, uh, your effort your concern, your attentiveness, that's all currency. That's a current that's flowing. And so you need to be sure that whoever you're giving that to is flowing back into you. And so there's a there's an equal and a healthy flow of energy going on. And that's that's where the blessing comes in. You know, um and so we I know we like to play like or assume that we're always the good guy, but you have to question yourself also. You have to ask yourself, am I taking more, receiving more than I'm giving? Am I giving my just due? Am I giving good quality effort, good money, good time? Am I giving my talents, my gifts? You've got to ask yourself that. Because uh, a lot of times we're the weakest link. A lot of times we're the toxic person. I know people don't like to think like that. We're always, you know, want to see ourselves as the giver and the victim. But sometimes we're the aggressor, right? We're the villain. And so you have to be cognizant of that in relationships. Because if the flow is not healthy, you can't bear good fruit. Right, you can't bear good fruit, so you gotta be careful about who you give information to, because when you give information, you're taking time out of your day, right? And I gotta be cognizant of that. I give a lot of information. People hit me up, but we gotta make sure they're the right people with the right heart, with the right spirit, because you don't you don't you don't want to give your pearls to swine. And when I say swine. You know, swine have, have no appreciation for quality, for treasures. 
it's all slop to them. So uh, they have no respect, no regard for your gifts, your talents, your effort, your energy, your money. So you got to be careful about who you sow into. Um, last year, no, I would say about three years ago, old classmate hit me up. And we didn't have a relationship in school, but we had a good rapport. And he hit me up in Messenger on Facebook, said he wanted to give me some information. I said, okay. So he said, uh, um, this information was in regards to how to um, rebuild your credit and uh, create tax IDs and everything behind that. Um, little, um, little nuggets, jewels regarding credit. Like I said, he and I never had a relationship. So kind of, I was kind of taken aback. So I let it go. About a week later, me and the wife are out. And he hit me up and said he wanted to give me this information. This is like the Bible of credit repair. I said, okay. I said, meet me at uh, this Walmart at this particular intersection. Actually, there's a Whataburger at an intersection. So he met me there. Man, we chopped it up for a while. He gave me the booklet, the manuscript. And yeah, it's the Bible of the credit in the credit industry. And he just hit me to so much game, so much knowledge that he had stored inside of him. And so when we were done talking, I said, hey man, uh, follow me up here to this corner store. Uh, I wanna get you something. And uh, it's okay. So I went in, went to the ATM, and I think I brought him back out, I think 60 or $80. And he was shocked. He was like, man, I, you didn't have to do that. But actually I did have to do that because there needs to be an equal exchange of energy. He poured into me. I didn't ask for it, but he decided for whatever reason to pour this into me. Give me this, this information, information that he had tangible, tangible in his hand, tangibly in his hand and information in his, in his brain. He gave me that information. So I need to pour it back into him. And the thing that came to my mind, I could pour it back into him money, right? Now I do have talents and gifts and, and things like that. But like I say, he and I don't have a relationship. I don't know a lot about him. So that was uh, the best thing I could do at that time was pour it back in him to and pour it back in him into him money. And that's where we got to get to as a people. We got to stop having our hand out so much, even when we don't solicit the information, like in my case, but the information is given to us from a good place. We gotta remember the exchange of currency, the exchange and the flow of energy. And so we gotta pour back into people. There's about three or four guys on YouTube that I, that I follow or I'm subscribed to. And periodically I'll send those guys, you know, some cash out payments because I'm getting information from these guys that I didn't even know. And hey, they're giving me this information. Of course, they're monetized on YouTube, but still that's YouTube and their relationship. I need to pour it back into them on my own accord. And sometimes, you know, I, I try to do that. Uh, just yesterday, came across a video on YouTube of this guy being interviewed about the cigar business. And this guy, he is a cigar lounge owner and he was given just free game. And at the end of the interview, he was saying that he would mentor people on how to start a cigar lounge and how to how to uh, avoid a lot of mistakes that people make. He'll he'll do this freely. He'll mentor you freely, free game, right? And so I reached out to him on 
IG and uh, gave him a little spill about my history and what I wanted to do. And I told him, hey, I need your help in this area. But then I also added, I said, how can I sew back into you for this information uh, you'll potentially give me? And so I hadn't heard back from him yet. But that's the way we have to think about the flow of energy, where it's healthy and it's coming from a good place. And it's our best effort. That's the key thing. It has to be your best effort. When you receive, you got to be right. And when you give, you got you to come from a good place too. Um, and we got to get to that point. We got to get to that point. You know, it reminded me of the, the story of uh, Cain and Abel. And how God rejected Cain's offering, but held Abel's offering in high regard. Now, this offering, this is an exchange from God, between God and Cain and Abel, separately, respect, respectively, <laughs> separately, I'm sorry. And uh, Cain offered or extended an offering that came from a lazy place. It wasn't his best. He just gathered up some fruit from the ground. It wasn't his best offering. Abel gave the firstborn of his flock and the fattest to God. That was his offering. So it's about a mindset and it's about a heart issue intent, effort, intent, mindset, heart. And so this is why Cain was rejected. Abel was accepted. And this is why some of us are being blessed because our exchange with God, our exchange with people is not coming from a good place. We just want to receive and not give. Or sometimes we're giving and it's out of ego is out to, to brag about what you did. It's not from a good place either sometimes. And so that's why a lot of us aren't blessed. You know, we have to start seeing each other and seeing ourselves as storehouses. Now, storehouses is where you store surplus or extra. And that's how we have to see ourselves. We have information in us in us we have wisdom uh money energy gifts you know talents and this is where we store all that inside of us now what we store in us that's enough for us and others but like i said we got to be careful who we give to make sure we're sowing and healthy and good soil and other good good storehouses and we also have to make sure we're being replenished i can't just keep giving out of my storehouse and not be replenished or i end up empty frustrated and broke so we got to be cognizant of that and when we're pulling from other people's storehouses we got to be cognizant of refilling, replenishing their storehouses, an equal exchange of energy. Even when the wife and I would go to Colleen to visit some friends, we're staying at their house. I always bless the house. I always give an offering to the house. I'll give it to them. The, 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 the woman of the house or the man of the house, I'll give money to the kids. <clears throat> I'll give time to the kids. That's an offering. That's an offering. That's that's the offering table is their house. Their house is the storehouse. And I'm replenishing. Hey, man, those, that toilet paper costs money. That food costs money. That water costs money. That electricity costs money. Yes, they invited us to come spend a few days with them. Yes, they enjoy us. But these need to be replenished. And it makes it much easier on everyone involved. All right? So 
that's just my mindset. And that's, that's been my mindset for a while. And we really need to um, be aware of that. I won't many times um, connect with people on a business level if I feel like I don't have anything to offer. Because again, the exchange must be equal. I have to bring something to the table. And so sometimes I'll wait until I have something to offer or I see there is a need. It may not just always be money, maybe time, uh, something I'm, I'm qualified at doing, some, a skill I have that I can offer. But I have to bring something to the table if I'm receiving something from that person. And that's just the way it is, you know. Uh, so, yeah, just my thoughts on that, something I was reflecting on. Let, let me know what you guys think. All right. As always, from me to you, love, peace.